Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you, and your spirit. Let us pray. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The one who loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and he will come to him. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees hear that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the, great, the greatest? Jesus said to me, to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments, and all the law and the prophet, the gospel of the law. Pray to you, Lord Jesus. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, last Sunday, Jesus Christ defined very clearly what attitude to adopt in the face of temporal power and God in actual way to the point of silence the disciple of Pharisees and the followers of Herod. He ended up closing his move to the letter, starting with the question of the tax to be paid to Caesar or not. Far from ending the controversy, the Pharisees returned to the church by once again seeking to set a trap for Jesus, who calls himself the Messiah of God. They want to verify the orthodoxy of the theological knowledge of Jesus in matters of the Jewish religion in what it is most essential, capital, and vital. The Pharisees, this religious group, are convinced to be writers, specialists in the law and the scriptures. That is to say, a bad answer from Christ will discredit him in the eyes of the grow, which considers him as a mission, the messenger of God. The question, what is the great commandment. Jesus gave the true answer, or at least two, two, three, two true and separable answers, love of God and of the neighbor. All of the law received from Mount Sinai can be summoned up in those two. So whoever wants to success in his life project in God, he must link these two practices. It is the path of the just and the saints. 
The first reading taken from Exodus clarified the practical practice of love your neighbor, welcoming immigrants without exploiting them, helping widows and orphans as well as the poor. For us today, how to come to the aid of the poor caused by the pandemic and social injustice. The love of God must lead us to that of our brothers and sisters without distinctions and especially the forgotten ones for economic prosperity. The tablet of the law reserved the Mount Sinai are in sort a body from the law of life for all believers in God. It is essential for the disciple of cross of Christ and any good Jew. Moreover, the Thessalonians live this intentionally in their communities that they are considered as model for the Macedonians, the Greeks, and the pagan war. It makes you want to be Christmas. Saint Paul rejoice in their living conformity to this great commandment, saying, Saying I love you is easy, but it's harder to translate it, to translate it into action. The message of this Sunday is clear, love of God and love of the neighbor. This love is pushed to perfection by Jesus to his enemies. Our Christian particularly is the ultimate prize. Where are we personality? It is up to everyone to strike the life his double common. It is the essential part of our life of faith that is at stake. We follow the life path of Christ. Let us love each other as God loves us. Let us pray. Lord, we want you want me to love the others around me. I manage to my love my family, my friends, and my colleagues without too much difficulty. But I find it so hard to love hungry, bossy, selfish people, pushing and conflicting people. But they are your children too, and you love them without measure. Deliver me from my ambitions and judgment about them. Have a good Sunday and have a good week. May God, who is love, bless us, bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.